Hey Royal Family, welcome to my General Hospital Daytime Drama Channel. I am your hostess, the Daytime Drama Queen. I have your General Hospital Recap for Tuesday, August 8th. Now, let's get into it. Continuing from yesterday's episode, we see Anna Devane and Valentine Cassidy. Anna says, what did that message mean, the one you had me deliver to Sonny? As I was delivering the message, and less than two minutes later, we were being shot at. Are you keeping something from me? Valentine confesses and says that he was acting as a third party he said that years ago he worked for Pikeman as an independent contractor. When Pikeman first reached out to me, Victor had just framed you for Lucy's so-called murder. He was blackmailing Holly Sutton. He was holding her son hostage. He looked unstoppable. I was looking for a way to stop him. So you thought the Pikeman could help you bring down Victor? Yes. I thought there was a chance. Why? they're connected to the WSB. Martin Gray goes to see his brother Cyrus Renault at GH. Cyrus asks Martin, did you do what I asked you to with the money? Martin says, yes, I gave all your money away, but I seriously doubt that you are not, you haven't stashed any money away for yourself. Cyrus says, brother, I gave away everything. And what about your life? I mean, far be it maybe to second guess your generosity, but it appears you're penniless. You sure you made the right decision? For the love of money is the root of all evil. All right, okay, fine. So I play your way. I don't have to understand your benevolence, all right? I just can't shake the feeling that somehow, some way, there's something in it for you. When Martin leaves, he runs into Austin and says he's being transferred to Pensionville today. Is he all right? Mason said, Austin says that Cyrus is fine. Austin then gets a text on his phone saying, meet me in your office. When um, my brother's being transferred back to Pentonville today and I'm, uh, well, I'm concerned that it's so soon after the heart attack. Are you sure it's not too risky? All of his test results are back and things look good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know Mr. Renault very well, but it seems like a pretty tough cookie to me. So, you know, I, I wouldn't worry. I'm sure he's fine. Okay. Well, Excuse me. Thank you. Dad. Yeah. Mason tells him, I wonder how long it will be before the police find out that you had a fight in the alley with Gordon there are security cameras all around. Austin asks Mason to get the hell out of his office. Well, still, doesn't look very good for you. It's got nothing to do with me. Gordon said he wanted money. I told him he should talk to you. Something about another job that he did for you. You want to explain to me what that was all about? You don't need to know. You're right, I don't. Get the hell out of my office, will you? Where are your manners? You know, you should be careful when you disrespect family. Never know when they'll turn on you. Meanwhile, at Ferncliff, we see Sasha Gilmore having delusions of seeing Cody and Cyrus Renault. Cyrus calls her a junkie and presents her with a bag of a white substance. Sasha screams. She is crouched in a fetal position. You know, you're going to die in a back alley with a needle in your arm. <laughs> No, 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 you're not real. You're not here. Leave me alone. Come on, Sasha. You know you want it. You're just a violent psycho. No! You're going to be locked away for the rest of your miserable, pathetic life. And then you're going to rot in hell for what you did to me, you crazy bitch. No! I never meant to hurt you. Next, we see Cody Bell and Brooklyn Quartermain. Cody tells Brooklyn that I need your help to go see Sasha at Ferncliff. Gladys has forbidden me to see Sasha. Later, we see Brooklyn and Cody arriving at Ferncliff. As Brooklyn distracts the nurse, she beckons for 
Cody to go see Sasha. Hi there. What's your name? Janice. At the Quartermains, we see Tracy and Olivia Quartermain in the kitchen. Tracy says that she needs help she's going to have Ned committed. Olivia says, I am his wife and the decision is mine. Olivia says, no, not ever. Unbeknownst to the both of them is the fact that Ned is listening to their conversation. It's still legal to give a person a lobotomy. Olivia, you've seen too many movies. Listen, it's only a matter of time before he puts himself in really dangerous situations. Or worse than that, he runs off with a groupie and we can't find him. Ned would never do that. You're right. Ned would never do that. But Eddie Main would. We have to get him treatment. You need your husband. I need my son. Leo needs his father. Olivia, please. No! Tracy! I'm not gonna do Olivia tells Tracy no. Tracy says, we'll see about that. She then leaves. Ned Eddie comes out and thanks Olivia for standing up for him. He then asks for something to drink. Olivia goes to get the drink and Ned Eddie disappears. Ned? Eddie? Next, we see Gregory Chase. He has gone to GH to see about some research he is conducting. He sees Tracy gets off the elevator and tells her to stay out of his business. Tracy says, I'm here to see a psychiatrist about my son. I'm going to have him committed. Dear, because it should. Who cares what name he's calling himself? The important thing is he's living his truth without anyone else interfering. If he hasn't asked for help, he doesn't need it. I did not ask for a lecture, professor. I'm just trying to help you see it from Ned's point of view. Don't you mean Eddie? Lastly, we see Cyrus Renault being handcuffed, being handcuffed and wheeled out of GH. As he's about to get on the elevator, he spots Dr. Austin and flashes him a grin. the next general hospital it's the best news i've had in a long time i want to help so far we just have more questions and answers how can you even offer that after the way i treated you would you go to her office to talk to her i don't think it's a good time to leave town this makes me so mad that's it for today's recap please send me your thoughts your comments and your theories and we will discuss later until then ta-ta